Thank you, dear viewers. Well, I made myself a, um, a demagnetizing device, aka a DMD. Here's a homemade DMD, a demagnetizing device. 16 volt AC, 1.5 amp AC, straight to a coil around a motor shaft with a nice bearing in the end of it. It's some quite thick gauge wire, and it's one millimeter wire of uh, salvage that I've something. I got it on this screwdriver here, I've salvaged it years ago. I can't remember what I got that off. I think it was off um, some sort of a solenoid or, solenoid or some sort of a motor. I can't remember now, but it's perfect for uh, what I need it for. I lit up a lot of head dead magnetizers. Anything that's permanent magnet based, forget it. Because all the permanent magnet's doing is creating a south pole or a negative pole uh, magnetic field on the head. What an AC one would do, this goes for tools as well, is that AC will actually um, shake the magnetic poles around north and south and scatter them, neutralizing the magnetism, which is what you want. Instead of just waving a permanent magnet around like crazy, this is the best way to do it. Use an AC supply. This will create an, um, that bloody button gets stuck. The spring must have fell off. Okay. Still puts a head down there. Anyway, well, AC is perfect because it throws all the uh, field around there, giving me some, um, a chance to uh, demagnetize the head. So I'll power this on. Uh, tape. If I plug this in, I should get some um, 50 hertz hum come through the speakers. I've uh, tried putting the tape in this thing and checked the Zenith, it's all fine. It's just, just the head must be bad in this thing. I've got a junk tape I tested with just in case it actually is deep. It is magnetized, so I'm going to set this camera up here. Like this somehow, I just wave this thing around the head and I plug it in. Hopefully I've got enough quality to do it. I'll wave this thing around the head there. And go out. Like say first. Yeah, it gets a little warm, but I've um, put plenty of um, Teflon tape around my, my winding. I've left it with a lot of Teflon tape, and then put some more uh, of this uh, grey tape, uh, electrical tape around it there. Got a little warm, but not hot, so it's good enough for short bursts. Let's get a um, tape and test that. I need something like a piece of uh, old tape is the best thing and just lay it against the head. If it doesn't stick even in the slightest, I know for sure it's not magnetized still. But that was a pretty good uh, attempt of demagnetizing. You can hold it closer then wave it and go again and pull away from the head gradually. And that's how you demagnetize the head. I gotta get a junky shot of a tape and uh, see if that improves anything. If not, well, well my head's uh, just crap. This is a piece of um, wire here, we'll see how this goes. Is uh, magnetic. Yeah. I'll carefully put this at the head. Okay, I want to touch it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be. No, I can't do it with that. But yeah, it wouldn't be magnetized. I get some old. I get an old tape and use that as a test to be sure. So it's not the radio. This is quite an old tape. It's uh, well used, so I recorded over it and experimented with different power levels to try and improve it, but it's just an old tape. The normal it sounds like crap, even in, my, even, even in my good decks. That's the way that tape is. Definitely not as much hiss there. I don't think there's as much hiss on that actually. It doesn't sound as bad as before. I'll get another tape and do another check. I play too much of this, but it's a soundtrack for the movie What the Men Want. When an irrepressible smile such as you. That actually sounds good. I think I fixed it. Uh, here we go. Side A, track one, Sammy Davis Jr. Something's got to give. That was a track in case anyone's wondering, but as I said, I won't play too much um, mainstream music on YouTube, they'll crack the shits, but that sounds a heck of a lot better. I think that was a problem all along. The head was just magnetized. I fixed it. 
Bobby does that. We're gonna a chicken dinner. Just gotta fix up this pause button. I think a bloody screen came off there. Bloody hell, to fix that. Pull it apart and fix that pause button. Anyway, it's working quite well. Not bad. All fixed. That's my uh, homemade demagnetizer. I started paying a lot of money just to buy one online. I thought, well, I'll give the uh, my redneck ingenuity a go. One of those alarm systems for the home, uh, power, power bricks for one of them. Extra low voltage adapter, 16 volt AC, one and a half amp. Got no other use for it, so this is perfect. A bit of um, Tolstra supplied uh, um, cable there, Cat 5 cable just with two uh, wires in it. 26 American wire gauge, perfect for this. Bang, 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 done. What a great dead magnetizer. I said, don't touch your head with this stuff because it's going to scratch and damage your head. But just go close to it, just wave it and go and move away gradually. This worked perfectly. Similar method goes for CRT TV degaussing de coils. You get a degaussing coil sandwich from a TV, you hold it to the screen and just wave it back and move away. That's the method you're going to use for it to work. And looks like my technique paid off. That was a first time. Not bad for a first time. Huh? But you never use a permanent magnet to demagnetize. All it does is just magnetize it more and does more harm than good, so we're going to keep that. My little uh, homemade head demagnetizer works well. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.